Okay, it's Rich again. Uh, so as I promised, today's the day I'm going to be uh, pulling this wheel off. Uh, I got to try to find out. I got to replace the valve core and uh, hopefully get some air in this thing because I can't use my loader. So uh, I'm going to uh, take it off today, bring it inside, see what I'm working with, see what I have to order for parts. And uh, we'll see. I already cracked everything loose. Used... Um, Three quarter inch ratchet with a uh, one and a half inch socket on it, and this bar, which I think is 12 or 14 feet long. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get those lug nuts off and go from there. Here we go. Only 11 left to go. 15 to 20 minutes later, I got all the lug nuts off. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So uh, we're gonna go see how heavy this tire is and I gotta roll it inside. If I can't, then uh, I'll have to get the John Deere tractor to move it. Okay, so I can't get the rim off. I beat on it a little bit. I'm afraid I'm gonna bend this so the lock ring won't go back in. So <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try to pull the tire off um, I'm gonna to try to pull the ring out um, with the uh, rim and tire mounted so we'll see how this goes I'll try to get a good view of that I've never done this before so Okay, so I got the lock ring off. All I did was uh, get I stuck a pry bar in there and got it. Well, it took me two pry bars, but that's that ring came out. At least it wasn't too bad to do. Pretty good sized ring, but um, yeah. So I got yeah. I just took two pry bars and a screwdriver, and I was able to get under there and just. I got it one and I just rode it all the way around, hitting it with a hammer. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this uh, goes easy from now on, unless I can't get the... If I have to get the bead breaker in there or not. Looks like I'll have to get the bead breaker just to pull that away from the, this outer ring. Yeah. Boy, that's gonna be a heavy tire. Okay, and we're back. I got uh, so I got the tire removed or the I pulled the rim off the tractor. It was not easy to do. I stuck a jack between the frame and the rim and just started jacking away and it finally broke loose. Um, so I was able to get the inner tube out. There is, I verified there is an inner tube, there was an inner tube in it. Um, and the inner tube is what the problem, is the problem with it. It was leaking and there's a, there was a couple holes in it. Right around there, it's also dry rotted. Another thing I noticed is these are 25 inch rims. Uh, this is, inner tube is for a 30 inch uh, rim. And uh, with that, it, there was a couple of folds in it, like right there. And, and I think that's what caused it to, you know, quit a little early. But then again, I have no clue how old, how long that's been in there. I know it didn't come with inner tubes originally. Um, and uh, the actual, the, um, the O-ring was missing, so probably somebody before me um, ended up uh, putting the inner tube in. So I'm going to order one for this machine. The tires are 17 and a half uh, by 25, so it's a 25 inch rim. 
So we'll see if uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be hell to get that new inner tube in. Um, I was able to pry it up a little bit with a board, a couple of boards I had in there, and uh, I was able to sneak the inner tube out. Now I'm gonna have to try to when I put this back together, I'm gonna have to try to get that valve core in through here, through this hole here. That ain't gonna be easy, but we'll see. We'll come back to this once I get my inner tube, my new inner tube. Okay, so we're back with a new uh, with a new inner tube. Um, I did pump it up to make sure it holds air, no leaks in the new one, um, and I got a, a fit up so I can. Uh, I just put a valve core adapter on it with an extension and stuff. That's just going to help me pull it through that hole right there um, in the uh, in the rim. So we're gonna. Uh, so I didn't di didn't dismount the other side. So I'm gonna try to pry this up and try to sneak in the new inner tube, and then hopefully I can get that uh, that valve in through that hole. So we're gonna see if I can do this on uh, three hours of sleep. There we go. Look at that. Let's get plenty of room there. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze that in. It's going, but it's going slowly, and then we'll come back. Okay, so I got the inner tube in. Now we're gonna try to put this lock ring back in. Ah, we'll see how this goes. Oh, this is pretty heavy. You got the, I think I can just, well, look at that. Looks like it actually might not be that hard to do. Grips, I can hold that there. There we go. I gotta somehow get this section out, uh, section in a little bit so I can get that ring in. As soon as I pump up this tire, it should it should lock in and hold itself. So I'm gonna get another pair of vice grips and hold that. Three pairs of vice grips in there. Use that one, and then I'll get a third pair for that. Went back together a lot easier than it did. Come apart. There we go. Okay, so I got three vice grips on there. That should hold it while I pump up the tire. I'm not going to show that because it's going to take probably going to take a half hour. It's a pretty good size inner tube. Okay, so I just went ahead and I pumped up my tire. Um, I have about 35 pounds in the thing right now. I'm going to put it back on the tractor. It seems pretty firm. I think the tire is rated for 40, um, uh, do, not, uh, do not inflate greater than 44 pounds. Um, so 
I'm gonna go ahead and install, install it on the tractor and put some weight on it and see what it does. Um, yeah, uh, so I took some safety precautions. After I got the lock ring back in, I ended up holding it in place with, um, with locking pliers because there was a significant gap between the tire bead and this outer rim piece. So I didn't want it to blow apart while I was trying to pump it up. So I went ahead and put some vice grips in and it pumped up real fine. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this beast outside and uh, reinstall it. Now it's time to put the new, the, the tire back on, or the wheel back on. Let's see. I've been tipped over a couple of times on the way out. Let's see if I can do this by myself. Go get something to pry that. Okay, I doubt I can lift that tire up by myself. Almost went on. Uh, I just undid everything I did. I had done. Uh, there we go. Man alive. Almost there. There we go, now it's centered. Go ahead hit a couple more times. Now I'll start putting the lug nuts on and tighten those down and we'll see how that goes. But it's on enough so I can get it started threading and then the lug nuts should pull it in. Boy, this is a hell of a tire to do by myself. Okay, that's it for now, guys. Um, so if you like this video, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll do more. Um, this one was kind of a learning experience for me. I've never done a tire this big. Okay, that's it.